Hello, welcome back to Erica's Little Welsh Garden. It's Monday the 15th of April today and I've officially been working on my new plot for about a week now. Or it's actually a week since I did my initial tour for you. So I thought I'd bring you along today to show you what I've been up to in the last week. I have been busy though, I really have. And I'm so pleased to be able to bring you along this journey from the start. Firstly, you can see behind me, I have a raised bed a massive one as well so um last week i told you that i was asked if i wanted to raise bed they had some spare wood going and i was like yes please because i don't really have the time to make a bed and i came back to the plot on tuesday and this was made so in the space of monday afternoon and tuesday morning i have this massive raised bed still not worked out what i'm going to do with it yet or where it's going to go but i'll show you that in a little bit more detail in a moment i also on wednesday turned up at my other plot which is plot 22 and there were three 56 litre bags of um compost and i was a bit unsure of where it come from so i know that they had mentioned that they were going to get a compost delivery in and a manure delivery and me and my um, friend that's taken the plot in between both of mine would possibly be getting some but it was just like three big bags of it and you know I had a look at everyone else's plot I couldn't see that anyone else had been left any of it so I thought I'd better just wait before I open it just in case somebody's put it on the wrong plot or something like that and then I found out that um, somebody had actually donated those compost bags to the site and um um, the chairman had decided that I could have two and my um, my friend could also have one which meant that you know that was another bonus that I wasn't expected I can't believe it really that um, you know I'm really lucky I don't know what I've done to deserve you know the kindness of other people I really don't I'm so so happy um, but anyway, I'm really excited to show you what I've been up to um, in the last week. And also, I have um, quite a lot of seedlings in my polytunnel now. We had a little bit of a fiasco at home, and um, I had to bring up quite a lot of my um, my seedlings to the, the allotment. I'll let you know when we go in the allotment, and I'll show you around um, what happened. But also, um, I have my allotted space in the um, polytunnel now, so I'm really keen to show you that space and my ideas and if you can give me any advice over what you think of my ideas and um you know if you would plan any other way anyway as usual i'm chatting on so stop chatting erica i'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what i've been up to okay so i'm gonna start at the bottom of the plot and kind of work my way up and just chat to you about what i've been up to um so the first thing that i have been up to is every time i've come up the plot i've used a couple of watering cans and filled up the pond um as you can see the level is a bit a little bit low and it could do with coming up i've just been using the rainwater from the water butt but over in the distance you can see those big black ibcs they're full of rainwater that's been collected over the last kind of few months so next time i'm here possibly tomorrow i'll get the hose pipe and bring it down here and just fill up the pond all the way to the top what i've been doing though is just making sure that when i'm using the watering can it's just i'm filling it up from the side so i'm not you know doing a big jet of water into the pond and stirring up the bottom just because i know with a normal um fish tank if you do that it can pollute the water really quickly and we know we've got tadpoles in there but i'm really enjoying it and it's great and i can't wait to kind of learn more about that um the uh compost bin over there is pretty old i've been looking at it in more detail and what i realize is it's been homemade and somebody um has made dowels in between it so i think on the side um, here it's completely rotten so I'm going to just completely dismantle that over time and yeah get rid of it um, again this is I think possibly about the same age as this so I think that's seen better days and it's going to be going here is my new raised bed look how big it is i am so lucky i really am um not worked out where i'm going to be putting this yet and also am i meant to be sinking these into the ground or do i turn it up and then saw those off i'm not really sure but i think you're all going to tell me that i need to dig a hole and bury that in um i'm not really sure though where i'm going to put this and possibly do you think i need to put pond liner on the inside of it because i don't know what the chemicals that have been used to actually paint the um boards in the first place but let me know what you think um 
kind of turning round now, what I've done on this raised bed here is I completely took out everything that was in there. I think it was just mostly kind of just perennial weeds really. But I put the last lot of my um, my budget onions in here. So you can see these are the Stuttgarter ones. They've gone in now and a couple of red sun shallots. And I saved these um, from my shallots from last year. So I don't know if you remember watching my harvest video from that. If not, I'll put it above in the cards. Um, but yeah, I've got another shallot going there so i'm not sure if i'm going to you know be actually eating these this year or i'm going to save them for more shallots next year but i've not put anything in the middle i've just kind of mounded it up a bit but my plan is that i'm going to be putting some i'm going to be put putting some beans or something like that in here in like a wigwam there um and then what i've done is i've just made a start um along here just hoeing everything now i was planning on getting this bit here done this rectangular bit but i kind of ran out of time today and yesterday but tomorrow i'm hopefully going to be up here for pretty much most of the day well actually i say that i'm going to be working in the library garden in the morning um but after that i should be able to come up here for a good few hours and really kind of work on that now in this area here are um two rows of desiree potatoes I dug the trenches on those and I got my son to pop up one evening after beavers and put them in. Um, I'm really trying with him at the moment just to do, you know, five minutes here and there on the plot to get him interested. Um, so yeah, that's the plot so far. Um, you know, you're probably thinking I haven't done that much actually, um, but I'm super proud of myself and how much I've done really, um, considering I've got so much other stuff going on. Um, but yeah there you have it so this is officially my area of the polytunnel it's a large raised bed that i am sharing with my um plot neighbor uh, it, but it's a large raised bed and we just worked out a divide so we have half of it each um as you can see though i've got a um grow bag here and i think you can fit about three grow bags behind it but i've not measured it exactly um but behind it you can see there's the remains of a cucum cucumelon that was there before and there is already some netting there and there is a string that goes from here all the way to the back of the polytunnel as well so i am able to be able to hang things and i'm able to put some strings and things like that together the um string there though is some old washing line and it's quite you know it's a little bit stretchy so i'm not gonna be able to hang a lot on there or i'm gonna have to reinforce it with maybe some um wire but there's potential there which is absolutely great um, the soil here is a mix um, between compost and topsoil, but I know that last year it was used and they didn't use any fertilisers with it and they had quite a lot of tomatoes in it because this was the area that Brecknock Wildlife used. So um, I have also noticed there's some mare's tail in there as well. Not that much, but I'm just going to dig that out by hand. Um, I've also, look, I've got this massive lupin look at that it's looking really sad it's got battered in the winds um at home for a couple of days and it's really wilted it just because obviously you know the wind has blown out all of the moisture so i've decided to bring it here it's a red lupin as well which is my favorite color um so i've just brought that in here for a couple of days just to try and let it recover um but let me know what you think um, I'm thinking that I'm going to have three grow bags in here. I'm going to get some of those um, grow bag halos or I'm going to use um, pots and put them in so there is more space for my tomatoes. Um, but I am planning on using a tomato feed as well this year. But I have peppers and I have tomatoes so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to get a couple of tomatoes, a couple of peppers and at the back I'm going to be able to get some um, cucumbers. Am I kidding myself though? Am I cramming in too much into this space? Um, I hope not, but just tell me. Anyway, I'll let you know what's going on with my seedlings and um, my potatoes, because that's really exciting too. So, um, I earthed up my potatoes last Monday, but they're doing all really well. I just used some topsoil, and they will need a little bit more earthing up in a couple of weeks or so but i'm really happy with those but remember i said last week that i didn't think my overwintering um my overwintered potato had done for anything well um it's 
it's really heavy, I can't pick it up. I've got a small shoot, so I'm really pleased. Um, and yeah, oh, the drama we had with my seedlings. So um, I'll quickly show you um, now. Um, I've got two lots of broad beans. Um, the broad beans, I'm not sure what their actual name is, but they have a really bright um, pink flower. I got them free with Grow Your Own magazine, so I've never grown the broad beans in my life. But as you can see, they're just starting um, to germinate now. And my mum actually planted these with Robin, so I'm really excited to see how they go. Um, and then I have a tray of other seedlings, and I also have some others I need to bring up. Um, but basically what happened at home was, um, because I haven't got a um, polytunnel or anything like that at home, um, I was bringing in my seedlings every night into the kitchen and putting them out in the morning on the steps of my courtyard garden. And basically um, that evening, I, I, one evening last week, I brought them all in and Lloyd had said he saw a slug in the kitchen and, um, you know, didn't really think anything of it. Um, and then the next day... I, I don't know, probably came up the allotment, did some bits and pieces. And I got home around about lunchtime and he said to me, oh, um, do you want a cup of tea? And I said, yeah, lovely, I'd love a cup of tea. And he said, you're going to be knowing where this is going right now. He said, um, oh, there's something wrong with the kettle because when I, when I boiled the kettle earlier, there was like this weird, you know, I had a cup of tea and there was this weird thing in there. It was like, it was just something weird. And I was like, oh, okay, well, it's probably that there's lime scale in the, in the kettle because, um, you know, it's a really old kettle that we have been using from our previous house. And um, it was one that we had in storage and it's just gross. So I thought, yeah, it's probably that. So Lloyd opened it and um, inside the kettle, he found a boiled slug. Okay. But what made the whole thing worse was... He had already had four cups of tea and basically as soon as he realised he had drank like boiled slug four times that day, obviously he didn't feel very well. I was like, that is the most disgusting thing ever. I can't ever use that kettle again. And because that kettle was like really, really old, it was rusty and it was like a grim kettle anyway, we had to literally get rid of it because neither of us could bring ourselves to use that kettle ever again. But anyway... The thought of bringing in slugs was so disgusting that I was like, right, we have to get all of the seedlings up here. Um, I'm just really glad it wasn't me that drank the slugs because the thought of it makes me feel sick. Has anything ever happened like that to you at all? Um, I bet though, if you've got a kettle in the shed and stuff like that at the allotment, that probably does happen quite a bit, but it's absolutely disgusting. So there you go. Anyway, as usual, I've been chatting for absolutely ages. I'm going to head off now. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've got any advice about the bit in the polytunnel or anything for the new plots, then let me know. Hopefully this week I'll show you what's going on with my other plots. Um, my alliums are doing really well. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I really am going to go now. So thanks very much for watching. If you're new to my channel and you've enjoyed me going on, chatting on as usual, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all of my latest videos. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.